So riddle me this, how did we get from this? This is a great nation. We're good people. To this. This is an armed insurrection. Why are these mostly peaceful and these an attack? Why are we condemning violence here, but not here? How were the riots that lasted nine months during the summer of 2020 called? Peaceful night of protesting here. And the storming of the Capitol on January 6th called? It's treason. This insurrection? This is rebellion. All violence is condemnable. And yet the left continues to exercise a wild double standard in crafting a divisive narrative. To the extent that one year later, the vice president of the United States is comparing the events on January 6th to 9-11 and the 1941 attack on Pearl Harbor. December 7th, 1941, September 11th, 2001, and January 6th, 2021. For context, 3,000 lives were lost during the terror attacks on September 11, 2001, and at least 2,400 Americans were killed at Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. Such a statement is not only irresponsible, but dangerous. But opinions aside, here are the facts. Tragically, at least 25 Americans died in protests or related to political unrest in 2020. Compare that number to two deaths resulting from the attack on the Capitol in 2021. Black Lives Matter protests that took place in 140 U.S. cities cost between one and two billion dollars due to the arson, vandalism, and looting that occurred during the protests, according to an Axios report. This number even surpasses the 1992 riots following the acquittal of police officers who were tried for brutalizing Rodney King. The unrest surrounding the death of George Floyd was the costliest in United States history. Fox reports that during 574 recorded riots, over 2,000 law enforcement officers were injured with over 72% of law enforcement agencies reporting their officers were harmed during the protest. In addition to these injuries, there were 624 reported arsons and 97 burned police vehicles. And even if we weren't out during the tumultuous nights of the riots, protests bled into our everyday lives. In August of 2020, Black Lives Matter protesters got up in the faces of diners demanding a show of support. Here's the bottom line. You're either against all violence or a hypocrite. You cannot condemn the acts of January 6th without also condemning the nine months of destruction and violence that ravaged cities across the country. Yes, condemn the violence that tragically led to two deaths on January 6th, 2021, as we did at FreedomWorks for the record. But you should also be outraged at the violence that took at least 25 lives in 2020. It's up to you. You can either face the facts or blindly follow a false narrative. This is FreedomWorks and we're setting the record straight.